So this is my follow-up to the YouTube short on the TP-Link Archer BE6500 dual band Wi-Fi 7 router. I received this unit free of charge from Best Buy for my honest opinion and review of this product. I've had this router for about two months now and it has worked flawlessly. There have been no issues with it. The throughput and coverage have been good within my house and that is where the Wi-Fi 7 multi-link operation connectivity comes in handy. Um, multi-link operation allows uh, one device to use both the 5 gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz frequencies. Um, again, the coverage in my house has been very good. I've had no issues where this router has locked up or had any type of performance issues. Now, some of the observations around the Ethernet ports. There is a 2.5 gigabits WAN port, um, which if you have that level of internet service, then this router is up to the task. It provides that much throughput, and if you don't have that much throughput on your internet connection, then it's really a non-factor. But in addition to the uh, 2.5 WAN port, there is a 2.5 gigabit LAN port and 3 gigabit LAN ports. One thing I noticed about the LAN ports is they don't have a link or activity LED associated with the port itself. So if you're looking for that, you're not going to find them. There are some indicator lights on the top of the unit that have various functions, including Wi-Fi, whether you have an internet connection, and a few other things, but no LED link lights on the ports themselves. Also, if you require six gigahertz connectivity, um, that band, that radio band, you're not going to find it on this router. This router is a dual band, not a tri-band router. So it has 2.4 and five gigahertz, not six gigahertz. You may need to look at a tri-band router if you want to utilize the six gigahertz frequency. Right now, there are not many devices that are six gigahertz Wi-Fi capable, even though that's part of the Wi-Fi 7 standard. It is not mandatory that you accommodate all three bands, but if you want a router that future-proofs yourself, you might look at a tri-band router. As for the configuration of this router, it was pretty simple. I chose to use the cloud management services. By utilizing their cloud management platform, there could be some concerns. Your device MAC addresses, device descriptions might wind up in the cloud, and you want to utilize some of the advanced features of the router, then you have to use the cloud management abilities of this router. You know, things like usage metrics require the use of the TP-Link cloud management services. So if you had some concerns about your MAC addresses and devices and all that info going to a cloud in a country that you may not want to have that information, then stick with the local management functions of the router. The cloud management service does allow you to use a bunch of different features, including some monitoring on how much your devices are utilizing the internet. Also, some parental controls and domain blocking are only available when using the router in cloud managed mode. There are also the ability to put some things in a segmented part of the network, essentially a VLAN uh, where you would put IoT devices. I took advantage of this by putting uh, devices such as my refrigerator, IP cameras, some other home automation into that IoT container. Because frankly, some of those devices don't get updated regularly and you wind up vul with vulnerabilities that remain unpatched and you definitely don't want those things talking to other things on your network. Also, you have the ability to create a guest network and restrict functionality to different bands and along with having a lot of flexibility in configuring the radios in this unit. This is a value Wi-Fi 7 router offering. If you don't need a tri-band router, then this will absolutely fit your needs. It has smart capabilities and a lot of reporting features. For some reason though, it missed my network attached storage and never really registered or gathered the throughput on that device. So that's a bit of a mystery. I also tried to throttle the connection for that device but it didn't work out too well. Overall, you do have the ability to throttle certain connections, to turn them off, uh, implement parental controls, and turn off some of the connectivity to devices one at a time. You can even do it based on schedule. So there's a lot of options in this device 
including, like I mentioned, the comprehensive reports and the ability to prioritize traffic uh, quality of service, uh, QoS. Uh, there's also VPN client support um, and, of course, the easy network management through the cloud. The TP-Link Archer BE6500 Wi-Fi router is a good value and a good choice for most use cases. Bonus, it also comes with a two-year warranty. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out.